Welcome back. It should not be that hard to take a good photo, but we all know it is. That's well, not although some people are really photogenic and they can just knock it out. That's true. There that's are, not, yeah. That's, may not be not us. Me. Well, anyway, no. uh, if you, if you, you want to feel confident, right? You want to get that best look, but how do I use this dang thing? Amy Davis <laughs> is here with all the secrets that the people with millions of likes get. Yeah, exactly. It's not my secrets. I learned a thing or two also. Okay. So too much light, not enough light, double chin, <laughs> too many wrinkles. As Lisa said, it shouldn't be that hard to just get a good photo. So here's some tips I found that will get your memorial day selfies picture perfect we've all taken photos that look like this and this and even this yeah, i'll take a bad one of her and she's like no don't do it like that i guess i get so self-critical that i'm like i don't even want to do it today i'll just wait for another day until i look better even though i'm gonna look the same get picture perfect photos first avoid bad lighting close your curtains and leave a thin gap in one Dial down the exposure on your phone for a more natural photo. Next, never fill the full frame. Instead, place one foot in front of the other and use the camera grid feature to leave one blank box above your head. Social media influencers are experts at making the camera work for them. Hold your camera up, tilt it down, and you'll have a more slimmer and more flattering selfie. Don't shoot down. Move back and flip your phone upside down. Leave one third blank space above the head. All right, so another photo tip, shoot in black and white. So if you have bright lights and dark shadows in your picture but not a lot of vibrant color, shooting in black and white can make the image look clearer and more professional. Interesting. So that is helpful yeah. to know.